go. Hi guys, mom's got me cooking something else today. So now we're doing smothered pork chops. Ooh, smothered so, pork chops. <laughs> so I'm gonna get, I got my pork chops already like partially cooked and I got some bacon underneath it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. add that later. Right now, we're gonna throw all these veggies in. Did you put the butter in? Butter first, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Forget it. Southern cooking. You got butter's always first. Oh yeah, you gotta put butter in everything, baby. I thought you got bacon grease in there too. I know, but it's butter. Oh. It's butter, Randy. Okay, okay, gotcha. It only makes it taste better. I got. Oh I, yeah. I understand. I'll put my peppers in here. So you got green, yellow, and red peppers. Yep. Oh man, that looks good. Sounds good too. You might want to turn your fire down a little bit. It's on low. Oh, okay. I got on red onion. Oh, yeah. Which do you like better, red onion, white onion, or yellow? Uh, or does it matter? You know, I guess I tend to like the white white onions. But yeah. I don't, I don't, depending on the dish, I like the red onions. And the yellow onions are just whatever. They're just yeah, whatever. they're just... Yeah, I agree. Yep. I, I tend to go for the white ones most yeah. of the time. Yeah. But depending on the dish, I do like the red onions. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. It looks colorful. It does. It looks <laughs> really pretty, actually. And then while I get my mushrooms marinated, I gotta make my sauce. Okay. I'm gonna smother the pork chops. In. Right. I like this. I love this cast iron skillet. Too. Oh, I do too. This is but my the, one uh, of my the, favorite. The big size, like yeah. not the little little guy. Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> I don't. You y'all probably can't tell in perspective, but it's one of the biggest pans I have. So. Yeah, the other cast iron. Yeah, it's right there, on that side. See the difference, guys? It's this a lot bigger. This nice because it's deep. Right. But it's, it's not the circumference isn't that right. Big the base. To... Right. That's the difference, guys. So yeah, this is a good one for this dish. Okay. Okay. We're so. Doing cream and mushrooms. Okay. So let's go on this side. Here we go. I'm gonna turn this light on real fast. Oh, and look, you have notes from your mom. Wow. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah. You know. Step by step, Randy. Can't mess it up. <laughs> so you got cream and mushroom soup in there? Yep, and a half cup of milk. Okay. You gave me a cup, but I can eyeball it. Yeah. Half cup. And you need some sour cream, right? I forgot to get that out. Oh, yeah. You got the sour cream. No mushroom, sour cream. Either. Just, well, just a dollop? Well, a dollop of sour cream? Probably about half a cup, maybe a cup. Just whatever you like. I mean, there's no particular amount value there. Just whatever. Whatever floats your boat? Yeah, whatever you like. For consistency wise, as far as sauce goes, so. You know? Okay. Okay, and then uh, on top of that, we have parsley. Uh huh, of course. You know your mom. Just take the lid off, I do. There's two sides. Right? I know, I just... Okay, there you go. Okay, so we got parsley. Turmeric. Turmeric. Which, we've talked about that so many times, y'all. It's good for you. It tastes good and it's good for you. Yeah, it is. And then we got paprika. Uh-huh. Alright. Paprika gives it color and flavor. And then we got garlic powder. Yeah. And then all of them? No, that's that was for the pan, but we didn't need oh, it because we had the bacon nice. grease. And then just gonna mix all this together. Yep. And you're just gonna blend that up till it's kind of smooth. Okay. Kind of a sauce. That's about it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Kind of thick. Yeah, it is. It's kind of thick, but it's going to thin down with the juice and the butter that's in the pan. Oh, from the veggies. You know, from the veggies, yeah. It'll thin the sauce down some in the oven when it bakes. So, all right. Cool. Our veggies are looking pretty good. 
Oh man, those do look good. They look delicious. And they'll still cook in the oven too, so. Bacon grease and the butter. Yeah. Bacon grease and butter, nothing says south like that. <laughs> we love our bacon grease and our butter. Okay, and so we're gonna throw our pork chops on top. Okay. So you're just gonna add them back to the pan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you could do that with tongs or your fingers or whatever, you know. <laughs> hey, you gotta have man hands, okay? Oh, man hands. Is that how it works? All right, so he put the pork chops back in there with the veggies, and now he's going to add the sauce. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Man, that looks good. That looks really good. Already. Kind of smoosh it around a little bit. Yeah, smoosh yeah. is a technical term, by the way. Did you yeah, know that? Very technical. Very yeah. technical. Smoosh is your mom's technical term for mix it, fix it, <laughs> smoosh it. I think every kitchen you go into, if you're like working a professional area, they all have their own little quirks and words and stuff they say. Yeah, they probably At least do. From my experience. They want to throw the bacon on top. Yep. Then you can put the bacon on top. Kind of sprinkle it around and the uh, green onions. Oh yeah, then we're gonna pop it in the oven. Yep. And you're gonna cook it at 350 for about 30 minutes. And you're gonna take it out and you're gonna put some cheese on it. And then we're also gonna have some mashed potatoes with it. Randy's got potatoes cooking now, so. Oh, yeah. oh that looks the, the really Yukon pretty. Golds. Yeah, Yukon Gold. My favorite. All right, yeah, my favorite too. For mashed potatoes, by far, Yukon Gold is the best. There you go. Okay. So, that's pretty yummy. In the oven it goes. There you go, guys. Oh yeah. I'll show you the finished product later. We'll be back in a little bit. Say Bye goodbye. Guys. Bye, guys.